A 3.6 kilogram cart is released from the top of a 1.4 meter long incline. Neglect friction and drag. All right, so in this problem, we this is a forces and motion problem. So I've gone ahead and set up my forces over here and written down net force, mass, and acceleration, and my motion over here. We use a couple different kinds of uh, notation for motion on positive physics. So you might see initial speed, average speed, final speed, or initial velocity, average velocity, and final velocity. So just use the one that you've been using this year. All right, so let's go ahead and start by drawing our forces. We are going to have a weight down and a normal force up to the right. And on this weight, we're going to have to draw a component down the incline and a component into the hill opposite of the normal force. All right, let's me, let me go ahead and label these a little better. So this is my weight which will also be my hypotenuse. The angle fits here, so my adjacent side, my opposite side. All right, so now let's go ahead and fill out some given. So 3.6 kilograms is my mass. I also know if I know my mass, then I know my weight. In my case, using G equals 10, I'm gonna get 36 newtons as my hypotenuse and my weight. All right, 1.4 meter long incline is going to be the length of this incline right here. And that's going to go on my motion side as my distance or displacement. All right. So next, we are looking for some more given. I see that at the start, there are no motion lines. So my initial speed or velocity is zero. But remember back in our motion problems, we know that we need three given to solve. I only have two over on this side. So I got two given right here. That's not going to be enough. So that means I've got to start with my forces. All right, so in this case, I can start with my trigonometry because I have two parts of the triangle. So to get my opposite side, I'm gonna use H sine theta or 36 sine 15, giving me 9.32. Newtons, and my adjacent side is going to be 36 cosine 15, or 34.8. I feel good, this is a small angle right here, less than 45 degrees, so my opposite is going to be my small side pointing down the hill. All right, then I know I can cross out my hypotenuse and that the adjacent side is going to balance with the normal force. And that leaves me just with 9.32 newtons as my net force. And that's the first answer I can check. All right, so then I can find my acceleration by doing the net force divided by the mass which in my case gives me 2.59 meters per second squared. Then it says over here, how long does it take the car to reach the end of the ramp and what is the car's maximum speed? All right, but I've noticed there's going to be one link in all of these forces and motion problems you're going to be see acceleration on both sides. So we're just going to take that 2.59 and move it over to this side. All right, so in this case, now I have my distance and my time. And so it's just really using motion equations from here. I'm going to use uh, T equals the square root of two times D divided by A to get my time. and I get 1.04 seconds. And then the cart's maximum speed, well, I can just use, if the initial speed is zero, I can do initial speed plus acceleration times time, or the same thing with velocities. Since the initial speed is zero, it's really just the acceleration times the time. And you get 
I got 2.69 meters per second as the final or maximum speed. So be careful, there's going to be another problem where it's going to give you enough information to solve the motion side first. So you could start over here if you have three given, take the acceleration again, be the same on both sides, and work your way backwards.